breaking news overnight. Seattle police say they're investigating a shooting inside the Capitol Hill organized protest zone now known as CHOP. It's the second shooting in 48 hours. In a tweet, the department says one person is being treated for a gunshot wound at Harborview Medical Center right now. A last night's shooting follows a deadly weekend in CHOP where 19-year-old Lorenzo Anderson was shot and killed. Some now accusing the Seattle Fire Department of failing to help. Olivia Roberts in studio with new developments. Well, that first shooting happened early Saturday morning just outside CHOP. Seattle police said, said the scene was so dangerous they couldn't immediately make their way to that area. Those trying to get help say it was a desperate situation and that the Seattle Fire Department could have done more to help. The angry mob that was, that was created, quote unquote, um, as, as part of the response to what happened with, with, uh, with the shooting was likely in response to Seattle Fire's lack of response to an actively dying man. Slate wasn't here early Saturday morning, but was told Centennial Scouts had to take matters into their own hands to try to save Anderson's life. Seattle Fire responding to the criticism in a statement saying, quote, this was a scene where the risk was too high to commit our crews to respond in without a police escort. Crews do not have training to go into a volatile situation to extract patients. And because of that, they have told people to, quote, bring the patients to the perimeter of the crowd or transport in a private vehicle, which is how the two victims Victims got to Harborview. No arrests have been made at this point. The head of the Seattle Police Officers Guild says police officers responded to the scene quickly but were met with violence. Reporting in studio, Olivia Roberts, 4 News Now.